Hi, this is Mrs. Cole and today we're going to learn how to make a flyer using Microsoft Word. There's a few basic things that you already need to know how to do, like open up a new document and hopefully you already know how to do that because I've already done that here on my screen. The second thing we're going to do is give us a, is give ourselves a border. And in order to do that, we can either go to basic shapes and do this little frame action here. And I went to insert if you have that at, at the top here, or you can also go to insert and shapes this way. And there's this frame. Let's see, look, there's a little Pac-Man. I don't know if you guys have that. That's pretty awesome. So here's a frame that I'm making myself. Um, I don't love this frame. It is a little bit too much and there is a way to fix that. You can click on this and make it better. But I also don't want it to be blue. So, sorry, just adjusting. So if you don't have this frame, you can also do it this way. You can go to rectangles. Draw yourself a rectangle. And then we can right click here, go to format shape. And we want to have no fill. We want a line and then you can choose a color for your line. I'm going to go with, uh, um, I'm going to go with this aqua color. Ooh, no, that's ugly. This aqua color better. Center it a little bit better. And now I want a headline. So in order to do the headline, you can pick one of these banners. These banners look kind of neat. Let's see what that looks like. We got a little bit of a scroll action here. I think I'm going to go basic. You can also do one of, oh, I just deleted the wrong thing. You can also do one of these deals. That kind of looks neat, but you don't even know what I want to type here yet. So I'm going with the rectangle of the rounded variety. It's one of these deals. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to format this shape. So to format this shape, you also right click on it. Or if you have a Mac and you don't have the right click option, you press control and click. And I'm going to go to the fill and right now it's a gradient that's in this fill because you see it goes from light to dark and I can change the gradient if I'd like to right can't I there we go I don't know what happened but there it is so I can fix this gradient if I care to can change the angle of which I'm going for I can change the colors And I went with that kind of green option. So I'm going to click on the green, like an aquamarine green. I can add a color if I would like. So you can do it that way. You can do a picture or a texture if you have these cool textures like I do. You can also do a pattern, which I kind of dig. But what you put here in this little uh, headline is up to you. So pick one and then come on back. So as you can see, I ended up with a plain solid fill. I played around with it. I just didn't like any of them that I wasn't, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just in a solid type of mood. So now I'm going to add some text to this. And in order to do that, I'm going to right click, go to add text. Pretty easy, right? I'm going to say come join us for A. And obviously you cannot see that. It is way too small. So I'm going to highlight this and increase the size too big. 
Once you have the font that you like, you can resize this if you need to. Oh my gosh, that is cute. Sorry, <laughs> having a moment. Okay, so now that we have our font color and everything that we like, we're gonna move on and put what we're joining us for.